How many of you found yourself in a conversation with a salesperson talking about a behavior change that is needed, or perhaps a member of your team from another department, and you're discussing an idea that needs to be implemented? Now, the conversation starts off cordial enough until someone in the conversation recognizes they need to change. And at that Point, this cordial conversation starts on a downward spiral. Emotions start getting triggered. Voices start getting escalated. And frankly, the purpose of the conversation in the first place is lost. Welcome to the battle of the need to be right. Now, as human beings, what makes us dig in our heels, fighting for the need to be right rather than getting it right? Well, one of the reasons is good old fashioned ego. You know, for sales leaders, you might have a limiting belief that says, well, gosh, if I admit I'm wrong, that means I'm admitting that I'm not a good leader, that I'm not capable of leading. Little spoiler alert, nothing could be further from the truth. So how do we tackle the ego problem? Well, study great leaders. In my experience, the most successful and, the key word, and admired leaders possess a humility. And when you have humility, you have no problem admitting you're wrong. In fact, there's a great example from Patty McCord's book, Powerful. And in this uh, book, she shares an example of where Reed Hastings, now the chairman of Netflix, is in a rather heated discussion with a member of his team. He brought a great idea to the meeting, and the member of the team is challenging Mr. Hastings on his opinion. And the fact of the matter, the team member was correct. Now, the happy ending to this story is Reed Hastings not only admitted he was wrong, he celebrated the person that was willing to challenge him. So the next time you're fighting for the need to be right, ask yourself one question. Is my ego getting in the way of getting it right or being right?